okay I've got a few bits to do on my to-do list I've got a few hot spots around our home also I want to keep the laundry going I've done my 30 minutes tidy up and my 10 item pickup and as I said um, laundry um, I've just hung another lot out um, a little bit slow going today but there you are now when I said about changing things out of frames this is what I mean so I've got these two here um, this is what I'm saying these were actually quotes off a um, calendar um, life is like a roller coaster sit back and enjoy the ride so that's that one and the other one is enjoy the little things in life it makes the big things seem less important so there's that one so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change these things out as I said this is what I do and these were actually off a um, calendar as I said I bought these I don't know whether this was last year um, between lockdowns or the year before um, it's three prints and I got these um, from Asta. Um, I had some smaller ones, which were, I think, were 3.49p about um, quotes about dogs for a friend. But then I've got these. So we've got Smile and Be Happy. And we have got um, Do Good Things. And this one, it's it's good to be home. Now, I've changed my um, art in my dining room. But what it is, I've got two hooks either side. Um, my When I put my um, frame, my canvas frame up there for, um, say, autumn, it actually covers the whole lot and you can't see the hooks. Um, this piece of art that I've... I've um, got now I've put it in the middle which isn't actually um, a hook as such it's the bracket so it leaves me the two hooks so what I thought I'd do is I'd swap these out into yellow and black to go with my color scheme um, the only thing is I only had one little black frame and I've got two whites so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in the white frames to start with if I happen to go out um, anywhere near um, Poundland in the near future then I might get some of the smaller frames in so I'm going to just turn the camera down so you can see what I'm doing so here's my two frames I know these are going to be cut down but I've got a feeling it may be okay I might have to double check that that's gonna go in hopefully just um, fits in well I'm not sure if that circle one will actually fit but that one should hopefully go in well that's what I'm planning to do anyway we shall see I can't really have them going that way because they won't fit in with um, what I'm doing as I said I I use these an awful lot and look you can see that was a piece of art that I did when I, I said I started sort of doing crafting and I'm gonna see if I can get this to fit in I'm hoping it will it's going it might be a little bit of a tight squeeze but we shall see and I might actually have to clean this up as well um, and see how this goes so I'm going to start with this one and I'm going to put it in, I think I can just see the edge there and the edge there. So it's a basically that is in the centre so all I have to do is sort of judge it and put that near enough in the centre. As I said I just want a piece of artwork just to um, cover um, my hooks. Right, pencil. So I could just draw around it. Uh, like I said, I've used so many different things um, in frames, not just photographs. Those, like the three D um, things you can get from the works. I've done that, and you can just take the glass out. Um, I've used, I say, cards, postcards. Actually, one of the things in our um, caravan is actually a postcard. 
um, so there's a lot of things you can use so I'm going to just cut this out I am going to do it slightly more than the um, edge and then I can just trim it if need be so I'm hoping you're all doing well I am pacing myself um, I'm getting bits and pieces done hot spots make sure everything's put away keep the laundry going and everything like I said and then I'm hopefully I'm going to be able to generally clean our home up in two days if I can um, it's not gonna be my full um, spring clean but anyway so that's just gonna need a little bit of trimming and hopefully that's going to fit in just right so I'm gonna I did actually cut it a little bit um, more than what was necessary I mean a a little bit less just to check um, but yeah I'm putting the next two days after this session hopefully to um, you know get all my um, cleaning done right let me just have a look at that to see how that's going to um, go yeah just another little bit off of that side yep that should be okay so now sometimes I do tend to put these things especially if they faced the other way this one is getting a bit um, you know scruffy now um, especially with the the clips because I, I've altered it around that much There we are. So yeah, I'm happy with that. So that's the first one. So now I'm going to get the um, yellow one done next, which I'm hoping is going to fit in. As I said, it just keeps the cost down all the time doing things like this. As I said, you can see what I mean. That. It wouldn't go in with the circle, so I'm going to leave that one. I'm going to see if this will fit in. It's going to be very tight because it looks like it's going to actually, it's not going to work, is it? Because the lettering is too, um, too big. So what I might actually have to do is, after all, use this one smile and be happy and it just means that it will cut the circle out i was hoping to get away from not doing that but um i just want something as i said to fill it out i was hoping to have that one what i might see if i've got another frame to put that on say so sometimes you have to go with plan a plan b and plan c and some of these i mean this is what i mean by scraps of paper as well but I said I've held on to these for so long and I'm not even sure whether it was last year or not it could have been the year before if I'm I think the last one I have actually got some pictures that I normally put up there that are black and yellow and you probably have seen them now and again it's just as said I've put this other canvas up and I just want something um, a little bit different I mean, when we come to decorate the kitchen and the dining room, then I probably will leave the hooks down and fill them in. Let me know 
if anybody else does this. I said I've even um, done carrier, um, not carrier bags, gift bags before. Let's see how this one's going to work out. Let's see if this is going to work. Yeah, that's going to look okay. So I'm going to put that one in there like so, and that one, and then put this in. Go make sure get this the right way up for the hook. That's it. There we are. So we've got smile and a be happy and then do good things. So now I'm going to go and put those on the hooks. Okay, um, this is one of the canvas. I don't know whether I've actually shared this before. I purchased a while back, I don't know exactly when, three canvases and they were three for four pounds and this is one of them. And I just fancied some different decor. So I put those two little frames up, as I said, Possibly they could have been better being black. They would have stood out a bit more. So I'll just keep my eye out and get a couple of black frames when I see them. But um, it doesn't look too bad because I've got me um, white rabbits there. And I've just got to bring me other. Um, it's like a little cloche type thing with rabbits to go there. So that's looking okay. I haven't done an Easter tour as yet. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to do one or not. Um, things are slightly different because I have got different bits and pieces. And also, um, I've, today I have actually done my arrangement here. Because I haven't got any oasis, I've just laid the flowers there. But as long as we're careful how we lift it up, and as I normally put it on the side if I need um, the room on the table. So I've got in here... I had one of these um, um, bunnies from last year and then I purchased one this year. I did have it in my bedroom temporary, but I put it in here. This is slightly different to how it was last year than like my um, sort of mossy type um, bunny that I got from Amazon a few years ago. Then to tie it in the colour scheme, I've got yellow, I've got this like creamy colour carnations and the red ones due to the fact, you know, to tie in my decor. And I've just switched my mats around. These are the reversible ones. I've got them on black, actually. I could have them on red, but I just thought it um, looked better with the, you know, sort of the red stitching. Um, I have to um, incorporate a little bit of red be still because I do have my curtains although one of these times I probably will get some more neutral curtains like we have in the lounge and then to disguise me plant pot a little bit I've just put it in my a uh, wicker sort of um, container up there um, if you're interested I can do a Easter tour you know of my decor but as I said I'm still tweaking little bits but that's something else ticked off my list and I've actually just got my mint green runner on the table. So this is another one of the canvases um, that I purchased a while back. Um, I said it was three canvases for four pounds. So I thought that was brilliant because um, they are fairly large. And I've got one which I think's got tulips on, but I'm sorting through my decor in my cupboard and just fancied a change and then I just teamed it up with some flowers I need to get a sprig or something just to put some more flowers sort of brighten up in that vase and then I've got my two little rabbits there just because it goes nice with the pine bookcase this is the bookcase at the back door so as I said that's I've got one more canvas but it's not that I found the correct place has yet where to put it but I'm quite happy with where I've put these pieces I said it just makes it a little bit different this is the third canvas um, actually it could go here on the wall behind I've still got my grey one some bunny, bunny love shoe so it could go there for a change because um, it's quite a big canvas as you can see from the bed 
but I thought I'd just share those. As I said, Hubby says, oh, do we need any more canvases? He, he can't remember when I last purchased these. And I said, but for the costing that I originally paid for them, you'd probably pay that just for one, if not more. So it's a quick and easy way of just changing decor around your home. Right, so I've got a few empties to share. So this is look at one of those videos, um, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I've actually got a playlist of videos like this where it doesn't really fit in any of my other playlists. And if it's a bit of everything, I sort of put it in this and that. So um, a few of my um, empties. Um, I had this um, Astor bubble bath and it was 37 pence. And again, these cheapy ones, not too bad, but um, you do end up using um, a lot more than, I think, more expensive bubble baths. But I still did like this one. Um, got a Radox one here. This was the Muscle Soap. Got through a lot of these just recently. This is the Sage and Sea Minerals. So that's that one. And then um, a repeat by all the time, although I've got those in at the moment. Um, I've been going on that, that I remember that from when I was little. Um, this is the Sun Kissed Raspberry Shampoo. As I said, I have had about four or five of these, if not more. I do like that one. And something that I really did like and was the um, Mallow Amazing Limited Edition Imperial Leather. And this is the um, bath soak. So there's that one. And I think um, a lot of family members actually liked that one. So now I can put those in my recyclable bin. I'm also going to share, I've got my basket here of pieces because I'm bagging things up, whether it's going to the tip, um, whether it's going to the charity shop and everything in our sheds. We did get through um, rid of a lot actually at the tip a fair few weeks ago, maybe a month ago now. Um, but we still got a lot of stuff to get rid of. Can't wait till the charity shops start opening again. So I hopefully I can get rid of pieces. But then again, I think they're going to be swamped. So we'll have to see on that one. Um, the first one is this is got this is a pillowcase. But it has actually got the duvet set and the other pillowcase inside here. This is how I normally um, store them. And this is because I've got that great butterfly duvet set, as I said. Um, when I bought that or when I was purchasing that, I thought I've got to get rid of one of my um, quilt sets. And I haven't used this for over a year. And I said if I didn't um, use it, say, Valentine's or something or over Christmas because it'd been red and like cream I'd get rid of it and I haven't in fact I prefer the grey so I think I get more use out of that butterfly grey one and I say I got that for seven pounds from Tesco's on clearance half price so that is going I also mentioned this I've got the um the fitted sheet and yes I did wash it <laughs> I wash it before I actually um either you know take it to the charity shop eventually so there's a fitted sheet and two pillowcases um prefer cotton um especially um normally i use this um during christmas and i think but i don't know i don't find it as comfortable as cotton or um flannel if it's really as cold so yes i could have used these and i had thought about it that because it's like candy canes, something you can do, and I've done it with red pillowcases before, is you can use them for little sacks to put gifts in, especially they're awkward um, size ones, and then you can buy them really reasonable from B&M or from, um, say, Poundland, you know, like the um, tie back cords and things like that, anything like that, and you could fill your little sack up and put you know the um cord bit over there and you could put gifts or whatever in there especially as i said if they are actually um you know awkward shaped but at the moment they're going um i purchased this a while back from the town shop still got the um ticket on 
um, it's because last year I had a new laptop my previous one had the owl transfer on and um, I'm, I like my laptop it's like a, a sort of a pinky color although it actually counts as red but to me it's more pinky but so I'm gonna let this go hubby didn't want it a son didn't want it for their laptop so I'm just gonna let that go um, one thing that's got to go on the list is um, more jeans, work jeans for hubby. So I've got two pairs of jeans here. So is two pairs now down. So they need to be replaced. Um, did replace a son's belt. Look at the state of this. And actually it broke. And I had a real job getting a belt for him unless we went online to get one. Um, due to the fact that when I went in Tesco's on the odd occasions when I went to get my medication um, they only had the small and then the last time I went in to get my medication I said to our son I said let's just go and see and they did have them in all the four sizes of belts so that was good so that's just gonna obviously go in the general rubbish um, just a couple of things this is one of those nail soaks I haven't used it in a year over a year so I'm just gonna let that go um, what I tend to do is um, is if I need to soak my nails I use kitchen roll put some um, you know nail varnish remover on and I soak it with a little bit of kitchen roll and put it on each of my fingers and I find that works out just as good that is mostly for like gel on nails and things like that you know glue on nails um, I could keep it but I, I think I'm just gonna let it go um, I haven't used it um, this is just a pen that doesn't work and I was really disappointed because I like the pom-pom could try and take pom-pom off and put it on another pen but let's just let it go it's getting to the stage now I need to really plow on and get this stuff sorted and out of our home at some point and yeah I nearly this has actually still got the price on. It was originally $1.99. This was something else that came from um, QS Stroke and then it went on to Store 21 was this owl. I might put it aside and see if our granddaughter needs it for her bedroom. Um, I did have it originally in, our, in my cubby and I used to hook my gift bags on. But even though it's an owl, you know i'm going to let it go so that is everything here out of my basket so that will all be either gone into the general rubbish or it will be sacked up or bagged up whatever wherever it's got to go and then put in the shed um just before i finish this video i did have my amazon order come i haven't got prime my son has and so has hubby got prime but i didn't but it was supposed to take three or four days free delivery 20 pound and above but it came within um two less than two days actually so i thought that was really good um a lot of these um they are just dvds but it's for like easter baskets and everything and some viewing over easter you know i can mention movie nights or whatever and especially as we're the three of us are going to be here on easter sunday so i just thought you know a bit of viewing and i had some money for my birthday and um for mothering sunday so a couple of the dvds are for myself but i'm going to keep them up for easter anyway just for when the family is here the first one is godzilla king of the monsters um remember seeing godzilla um, two versions of it and now this one is this one I looked at the trailer always wanted to see it um, my son said he fancied seeing it so I've got it in for his Easter basket um, this one is for my brother um, this is a blood um, bloodshot is it yeah I like this one Vin Diesel I thought it's a really good action movie and I just thought he'd like it. This is one of those baskets I want to make up. This is why I'm trying to get through all my bits and pieces. Because if you're interested, I'm going to make some 
Easter buckets and baskets and containers up. So hopefully I'll be able to share that. Um, just for the fact um, that I understand we'll be able to meet outside as long as you sort of um, social distance and everything. So I might be able to pass it over to him. Now the ones that I actually purchased um, myself um, through money that I already had. The first one is the Agatha Christie Puro Collection 9. And this has got um, Elephants Can Remember, The Big Four, Dead Man's Folly, um, The Labours of um, Hercules and The Curtain of Poirot's Last Case. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Funny enough, we... I actually put on the planner a number of these puro over Christmas and I thoroughly enjoyed them. A few of them I'd seen before. I don't recognise any of these. Um, so we shall see. Um, I've sort of read the back and um, I'm not sure if this, the um, last case one has actually been shown on TV or not. Um, it all probably be interesting um but i said it's about is it about seven hours long i think there's about seven seven and a half hours there so yeah i'm looking forward to watching that hubby also likes these and we also like um miss marple as well i've got the box set of that one and the other one i've got is mel gibson and it's fat man um another action movie Loved the trailer. I like Mel Gibson, and this is a action version. It is a Christmas, well, semi-Christmas movie by the trailer, and he portrays an action figure of Santa Claus. Um, um, let's have a look. Um, to save his declining business, um, Chris. Kringle, Mel Gibson, also known as Santa Claus, is forced into a partnership with the US military. Um, making matters worse, Chris gets um, locked into a deadly battle of wits against a highly skilled assassin um, hired by a precocious 12 year old after receiving a lump of coal in his stocking so that's that one and i do funny enough the guys are going for animation again and sort of cartoony ones and i'm going for a good action movie so yeah i chose john wick one two and three the last week and um the guys have been choosing um is it Bigfoot, the animation one. What else? The Crudes one and two, I'd like to say, I think. Yeah, things like that. So it just shows you, doesn't it? Don't like horror, but I like a good action movie. So, yeah. So, as I said, um, that one's mostly, these two are mostly for Easter baskets. They're mine, but I'm going to save them um, for the Easter weekend. So, I hope I said Easter, not Christmas, going back, you know, Easter baskets, yeah. So, that is it. That I know it's a bit of a short sort of video, I think, maybe a little bit hickety-pickety, a bit of this and that. It's due to the fact that I'm addressing hot spots and laundry and everything and all those little areas today. And as I said, I'm hoping then over two days, not a full spring clean, just a general clean around our home. Maybe one day I can do the upstairs and one day I can do the downstairs and things like that. And I might try and incorporate little Easter bits in between. And if you're interested, I can do an Easter home tour as well. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Oh, yeah.